Coming your way on today's Philadelphia 76ers. Now, the Sixers linked to Alex Caruso of the Chicago Bulls. Deep dive analysis. We're going to take a look at some numbers and we're going to come up with the reasons for why Caruso is a perfect fit for this basketball team. First, though, we are 20 days into November as we record this on this fine Monday. Hope all of you out there had a fantastic weekend and we are in a sub battle with the rival Boston Celtics. Our channel here at Chat Sports Celtics today leading us 593 subscribers picked up this month to 568. I hate this team with all of my being. As somebody who grew up in Philadelphia, I hate the Celtics more than the Dallas Cowboys. I can't lose to them here at Chat Sports. So subscribe. You're a winner at the end of the day because we give you year-round Sixers coverage. And with that, let's talk about Caruso here. So as I mentioned off the rip, Philadelphia 76ers linked to Alex Caruso. A lot of drama going down in the Windy City. Zach Levine wants to get traded, stormed off the floor, didn't even hang around with his coach or his teammates. He looked annoyed. Ownership is now getting involved. He's clashing with Billy Donovan. And a roster that has a lot of talent is once again going to be a failure this year. So could Chicago decide to blow things up? If they do, could they ship away Alex Caruso? I think it's a good option for Philadelphia because I think they need one of those backup ball handlers because in these maxi list lineups, Sixers really struggle. I know that DeAnthony Melton has played awesome ball over his last four games, averaging about 20 points per. That's fantastic. This Sixers team offensively still needs another creator. And by the way, not only do you get a creator with Alex Caruso, you get one of the finest and best defensive players in the entire league. Philadelphia, the favorites to land Caruso per Bovada here. 76ers plus 250, Los Angeles Lakers plus 300, Bucks at plus 450, Warriors at plus 450, and the Mavericks at plus 650. What do all of these teams have in common? All going after a championship this year. And they know that Alex Caruso is a championship level piece out there that could be available. And he's the exact kind of player that the Sixers need. For some of the reasons that I talked about, good ball handler, he could play off ball, he can defend, he can hit the three. The intangibles that he brings to the floor as well. 67 games in 2022-2023, here's how he fared. He's not going to demand the rock, which the Sixers don't need. Don't take shots away from Tyrese Maxey and Joel Embiid. I love how Tobias Harris is playing. Kelly Oubre once he comes back. That's why when you have a player like Caruso on the floor, low maintenance offensively as far as a need goes. For instance, James Hard on the opposite side of the spectrum, right? Five and a half points per game little less than three dimes. He can dish it. He can rebound it. Solid efficiency-wise from the field at 45.5%. Three-point range at 36.4. But with Caruso, it's not the offensive impact where that's what makes him a game changer, right? It's his impact on the defensive side of the floor. And this guy's in the midst of his prime years right now. 2022-2023, all defensive first team. Last year, first in steal percentage. Eighth in defensive rating. 13th in steals per game on 9.5 points this year, 61.5% field this year, and a 50% three-point stroke from downtown. You'll take that with nearly a block per game and a steal and a half per game as well. This is the type of player that moves the needle. And when you think about it, this is the perfect player for Nick Nurse, right? If you were to put a player in a lab for Nick Nurse, it's Alex Caruso. And you look at his opponent's shooting percentage, so far this year, shout out to producer Chip, crushing it with getting these numbers together. Very low field goal percentage wise against opponents. When you look at the different areas of the field, right? At five to nine feet, he's a little bit smaller. So 42%, 10 to 14 feet, 31%. He can guard in the mid range. 15 to 19, he can stretch it out to like the college arc area. And then beyond the arc, 20 to 24 feet, and 25 to 29, it's still under 38 and a half points on both of those categories here. And as relative to the rest of the league, here are Caruso's defensive grades so far this year. So when you think about some of the top defenders in the NBA, he has to be included in this list by this metric. And I don't get overly nerdy with analytics, but I did go to school. 
I focused more on broadcasting at Temple than school, and I wasn't getting these grades at A+, plus, A+, plus, A+, plus, and A+, plus like Caruso is, so I know that's a pretty big deal, especially when he's playing in a uber-competitive league like the NBA. Defensive playmaking, A+, plus, perimeter isolation defense, A+, plus, ball screen navigation, A+, plus, matchup difficulty, A+. Plus. Those are great. That's valedictorian type of numbers right there for a defensive player in this league. Those grades via ball index compared to other on-ball defenders. And kind of want to revisit something that I mentioned just moments ago. Why I like the fit of Caruso, you can start him. He can come in off the bench. Offensively, you know what you have? Somewhat of a limited player, but can create a little bit and shoot the three. He's not going to take the ball out of Maxi's hands. He can be that second team's kind of creator. Would love to have a player like TJ McConnell on this team. But he's not the defensive player that Alex Caruso is. He can also still have that impact on the defensive side of the floor. Elite perimeter defender and fills a big need for Philadelphia. This is a move that I'm not sure the Sixers are going to be well equipped to make, though, because I think other teams might blow them out of the water for an offer because all those other teams that we talked about earlier, as far as the odds go, championship-level teams who are really going after it. Caruso, too. Very affordable. That's what adds to this conversation as well, making him an intriguing asset. So you think about what we've talked about over the last couple of weeks. Philadelphia doesn't want to be tied to a player long term, making boatloads of cash like Zach Levine, who would take shots away from Tyrese Maxey and Joel Embiid. But with Caruso, you don't have that long term money that's too expensive, and he fits better than a player like Zach Levine. $9 million each over the next two years keeps cap flexibility open this offseason. When Philadelphia is going to load up the chest, load up the chamber, and hopefully spray some bullets across the NBA. Do you want the Sixers to trade for Caruso? T for trade, P for pass. I'm T for trade all the way. And I would include some draft capital, some player capital if we need to. Also keep in mind this, though. Will the Sixers do it knowing how well Jane Springer is playing? We'll talk about him at some point coming up for the next several days. Today's show is sponsored by Prize Picks. Get a $100 deposit match at prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use the code CLNS. This is the largest daily fantasy sports app that's independently run in North America. And sometimes they have these great specials. For instance, Christian McCaffrey has scored a boatload of touchdowns. He just tied the NFL record all time. A half rushing and receiving, uh, rushing and receiving yards at point. 0.5. That's the special there, excuse me, as we get back on track. So that's the special for Christian McCaffrey here. I mean, he's obviously going to pick up at least one yard against the Seattle Seahawks on Thanksgiving primetime NFC West matchup. On top of that, what we also like with Christian McCaffrey's more, Jalen Hurts, 231 and a half passing yards more. A.J. Brown and Travis Kelsey receiving yards combo more than 158 and a half. And then Hassan Reddick, he's been on a roll. Can he compile at least half a sack if that's the case? little four-part here. I love it. Producer, chips, picks. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. This is easy and exciting. Daily Fantasy Sports. I was a winner on Sunday. Had Brock Purdy more throwing yards. Debo Samuel more receiving yards. Then I did a combo. Sidney Crosby and Kevin Durant. Shots on goal and three-pointers made. It makes game days a lot more fun. So we get signed up here today. Sticking with Caruso here, as we start to kind of round out the conversation, Caruso, very underrated player. Like, a lot of people might think of him and say, ah, I don't know if he's worth, you know, mortgaging the farm for. Don't just take our word for it. When a player like Kevin Durant, one of the most unique and best players of all time, says something like this about Alex Caruso, I put stock in it, man. He's a phenomenal player, Durant said. I don't even want to call him a role player but just the guy that you can plug with any lineup, and he's going to make the right reads, the right plays on the defensive and offensive side. He's our Ray Lewis. He's the Deion Sanders. He's the Charles Woodson. He's definitely one of those great vocalist communicators and competitors when it comes to that end of the ball. He's a guy that, without no doubt, can win it for sure. So that's what DeMar DeRozan and Kevin Durant said. So, like, very high praise for a player like Alex Caruso across all league circles. And that's why when you think about what his teammates say, right, I think he's the perfect fit. So how can the Sixers get him, though? Because I do think the price is going to be somewhat high considering what other teams are going to bid for his services. Value starts at one first-round pick, I think. Look, that was the big element of that James Harden trade. You're able to get some draft capital back in addition 
to getting rid of his expiring contract and opening up a bunch of cap space. But on top of that first round pick, it could get pricey and there will be a bidding war for his services because of how he's valued across the entire NBA. Lots of teams are interested in him, which could drive his trade value up to multiple first round picks because all those players, again, that we discussed earlier, including Philadelphia, second best record in the NBA, they want to trade for a player like this because he knows he has an impact on championship aspirations. How much is too much? Look, if you're going to trade multiple first-round picks for Alex Caruso, that's a little bit too pricey for my liking, right? So Maury will have to decide if Caruso is that missing piece where you have to outbid and overpay to a certain degree because then it gets a little bit tricky. But if you overpay, you're talking about a player who can be an impactful guy for your team the next two years at only $9 million. So I don't hate the push and pull with that conversation. Will he end up on the Sixers this year? Speaking to Alex Caruso, why for yes and for no? As always, sound off with what you think down below. If you're an Eagles fan, producer Chip and I going live Monday night football, Eagles Chiefs Super Bowl 57 rematch on Eagles now. See you over there. We'll see you right here.